What's up Marvel fans, we're the Hills Maniacs and today we're going to answer the question in the title of this video, what is Zemo's plan? Um, this, uh, we thought of this question after watching episode 3 of Falcon and the Winter Soldier where a lot of stuff happened with Baron Zemo, so mm -hmm. let's talk about it. Um, first of all, this episode mainly revolved around Bucky helping Zemo get out of prison because they needed him to get information on where the new super soldier serum is, co uh, is coming from that mm -hmm. the Flag Smashers took. And they let him out of prison and then some stuff went down. Like a typical villain, he said he'd help them, but we all know he's got some kind of ulterior motive. So that's what we're going to discuss, like what we think might be his actual ultimate goal at the end of this, because he's probably not going to go back to prison because he's mm -hmm. a criminal, you know, that's what happens in all these things where the heroes let out the criminal. So what do you think, like, what do you think his plan is just based on what happened in this episode alone? Um, well, uh... I'm not exactly sure where this is going to end, but he seems to like, he, he killed the guy that told him or that like told them where yeah. the serum was and everything. Um, but they like didn't need to kill him. They could have taken him to like, yeah, or they could have kept asking him yeah, questions they were and stuff. Interrogating him and then but, at the end of the interrogation, he like shot the dude. So mm -hmm. like, yeah. And then they just like, that, that'll end up keep getting, like, Bucky, blown up. Yeah. Stuff, that'll but, keep Bucky and Sam from, being able to interview him any further yeah. to find anything else out. So that's kind of suspicious. I don't really know if that was a sabotage or if that was just like Zemo knew that he couldn't get anything else out of the guy. So he just... Or, I him. mean, if he is actually like kind of turning good, you know, or actually helping them, then maybe killing this guy was to stop. Because this is the guy that was building the serum. Yeah. Like... Uh, so maybe that's stopping him from building it any further, like doing any more is Zemo killing yeah. him. And but well, Sam was against that. He's yeah. you know he was like flipping out on him and stuff. Like, and like speaking of the serum, the serum is actually made from the blood samples of um, Isaiah Bradley, right? Yeah, and that we yeah, saw last that week they were taking the blood samples from. So that is um, that's another plot line. That, like, they just kept taking the blood samples, and he was able yeah, to make they... the serum out of his blood by separating the uh, compounds in, like, to make an, an artificial serum. And, of course, the Flag Smasher stole this from the guy who made it. Yeah, from That's the Power Broker. They... The Power Broker wanted the serum, and then, and then um, they stole it. Carly yeah. Morgenthau made um, this, or stole were, the was serum taking or the yeah. serum and, well... Her and, like, her seven friends or whatever, they took it so that they um, could protect themselves, and then they ended up taking the other uh, 20, I think he said, or the other so, 13, yeah, along those lines. the other 13 or 14 that um, was left mm -hmm. after they took it. So now the Power Brokers are going after them, but Zemo doesn't seem to want to work with the Power Broker, and he doesn't. Yeah. He wants to he's, pay the flag smashers a visit as well, though. So he's mm -hmm. like, he's like a third villain out of like five. I know he's got. You can definitely tell he's got his own agenda. Just like Hayward in Wandavision, you could tell from the get go that he's probably planning something himself. Yeah. He's this third wheel that we're supposed to pay attention to, but that maybe doesn't seem like a big deal. But knowing that going in, knowing that Zemo is a villain. You pretty much know he's got to be planning something. He is like a strategist. Yeah. I mean, he everything he planned in mm -hmm. Civil War was to draw the Avengers against each other. So and even even everything like... when they were trying to figure out who was making the serum, he was playing it out really really strategically. Like he yeah. was having um, he was having Sam Wilson uh, dress up as this this like uh, some pimp of, some guy. Of yeah, and he had. Um, Bucky dress up as the Winter Soldier. Of course, he's not going to get the same because hair. Because they had to go but... to Madripoor, which I guess was like a criminal, some kind of criminal yeah. It's like underground it, it's a thing. fictional place, obviously. It's like yeah. um like Wakanda. The uh, power broker actually 
Yeah, he Resides lives there. He lives there, there and um, there's too. two different parts of the city. It's called High Town and Low Town, and they went into high, they Dude. went into Low Town at the start. I just think, like the fact, knowing all the facts that he killed the guy who was making the serum, mm-hmm. he wants to find the power broker and and even um, the flag smashers and everything else. I think Zemo's plan here is to. He kind of want, either wants the serum for himself, like maybe to give it to himself physically, or he, might, yeah. he wants to build an army of his own super soldiers that he can use. Because I think he mentioned somewhere in this episode, he said they're building a uh, team kind of like the Avengers or something. He mentioned something about the Avengers. I think that's what he said, something along those lines. So that got me thinking maybe he wants to build... His own team of like super soldiers using the this serum, anti-Avengers, yeah, to either go against the Avengers or to become like the new Avengers because they they kind of are at a hey, loss of a people right now. The new Avengers, the new Avengers, isn't that like a, I think so? Yeah, it's a comic. It's a comic book thing. And also that that does play into the comics too, where Zemo actually does create a team of like villains that become like the anti-Avengers. But everybody goes to them, I guess, like, or they either pretend to be the Avengers or they're like the new Avengers in the absence of the Avengers. And Mm. in a time like this where everything just recently happened, like the blip happened like six months before this, you know, society is still adjusting. So maybe that's what Zemo feels like. I'll create a group. There's no Avengers to fight me. I'll create this group of super soldiers. Mm -hmm. So that's why he wants to know. So he's probably searching for the Flag Smashers to know where they stole it from so he can find the... I mean, uh, yeah. It's all connected, I think. But uh, I definitely think he does have ulterior motives. But what do you think, like, his motive might be? Zemo seems to be, like like I said earlier, like three out of the five main villains. There's, like, the government that's a villain kind of spying on uh, Falcon. Sam, yeah. And then there's John Walker... John Walker, he's oh, just he's, a scumbag. He's straight um, up a villain. <laughs> yeah, he he's he's straight. He wears that Captain America. I gotta say, proud, like but he's he not. he's he's trying to be good, but we just know he's not. Yeah. And um, yeah. Then he's there's using that. What he was given there's to be a bad there's guy. Zemo. Yeah. There's um the Flag Smashers. At this point, we don't know if they're gonna be good or not. And then there's um. The power broker is a fifth one. So there's like four like, or five teams Zemo... going on here. Yeah, I, I think Zemo is just like a middleman. He yeah. wants to get rid of the power broker. He wants to get rid of the flag smashers. But like, why though? Like why do you? He think just he, he just wants want to, to get rid of that. He like, wants to eliminate as many enemies as he can, because he probably. he has he wants to rule. he has something that he there's mm-hmm. obviously something that he wants through this. Like obviously he got yeah. out of jail, but that's not yeah. that's not the end of it. There had he to be has a reason to get he something. Agreed to help maybe them track down the maybe he could find family. like big shot out here. Like maybe he could find like Arnim Zola oh. and work with him to make something <laughs> back to Hydra or something. I don't think he actually wanted Hydra to be a thing because he said like nobody wants a world with Red Skull. Yeah. Like, with all these Red Skulls I, running around. I mean, because so like, he didn't work for Red Skull. Yeah, no, like he, didn't. he didn't really work for Hydra. He was just kind of... He found out about Hydra and all that other stuff. He found out how to activate the Winter Soldier in mm-hmm. Civil War and everything else. But he was never actually part of Hydra. But he seems like he could be, you know. Mm-hmm. Do you think maybe that he is the power broker? Like I don't, just, I don't he think so. He seems like because... he's more sinister than we're actually being led to believe. So he, I mean, in a lot of these kind of shows, you know, there's always something like a guy you don't, you would never think of as this secret character that we've been talking about. Like the power broker is actually someone we've seen this whole time, which would be like in this case, Zemo or something. He's been operating things from behind jail or, or behind now, bars see, or whatever. No, I have a counter offer. Okay. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's Zemo because um, Zemo went to Selby, who's working with Zemo, with uh, pa- the power broker, mm-hmm. and 
Selby didn't act like he was the power broker. Well, maybe that's the point. That wasn't the point because like maybe that's like their... Selby just literally died and wanted to kill all three of them. Unless so I, I don't think that he's the power broker at all. I think he just wants him out of the way. I don't know. I just think that he does. He definitely does have a different agenda. Whether it involves the act getting the serum for himself, like I said, or whether it was uh, taking out the competition, like you mentioned. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think that Zemo has. Some kind of agenda, like he's obviously he's playing Falcon and mm-hmm. but and Winter Soldier right now. Like he's, they let him out of prison. He agreed to help them, but really for some other reason, you know. And what, what's the use with that uh that purple mask? He he was yeah, like he got his he, he came got his in classic purple mask yeah. back. In he this came episode. in without without the purple mask, talking to people and everything, and then. He get he escapes from the storage containers and then, while yeah, people are shooting, and then like he a, puts it on to kill people, and then takes and then it takes off it off when when he gets yeah. to Falcon and the Soldier. I know. Like, I don't really understand that, what so that like, purple may, mask maybe, is. Maybe back in the past, or, so, or maybe even over the five years, like maybe he hasn't. Maybe yeah. he didn't Did he get dust? dusted. I don't. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know That's if they ever question. confirmed that. He was probably maybe during rotting that in five, jail for five years. Maybe during that five years, he actually had someone on the inside getting him out constantly, and he'd wear the purple mask to disguise his face. So nobody maybe. knew it was him, and he went around killing people or doing whatever during that five-year period. And But he'd keep going back to prison like to play the part. Like, I'm still here. You know, I, that wasn't me. But then, you know, maybe he had to stay there now and kept his purple mask off to the side somewhere. Because he had it in, yeah. like, a... He had sto- that in one of, his, one of his that, cars. Yeah. One of his secret, like... One of his royalty cars yeah. that that apparently his apparently family's he's super royalty. Rich too. But yeah. So I think the purple mask, that, that could be something what it was, like, to disguise... Like, he's actually been sneaking out of prison this whole time. Mm-hmm. Or something, or it's something unless from he his just, past, maybe. Unless like, if he's to make people remember who he is. If he's actually taking out bad guys, like with the mask, with the mask, on, then so they don't then they don't is. put like a bounty on him or something. They don't know that, that it's actually Zemo. Well. That that could be mm-hmm. that could be a thing. So but, yeah, uh, but let us know what you guys think down mm-hmm. in the comments. Uh, what do you think is Zemo's motives here? Um, does he have any ulterior motive or anything like that? And be sure, if you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe for more. We'll be talking about every episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier and all the other um, Disney Plus series that come up in the future as well, Mm -hmm. like Loki and everything else. And, of course, Black Widow, whenever it finally comes out in theaters. Oh, yeah, exactly. (laughs) But, uh, so, if you're a fan of that, check that out every Saturday right here on our channel. And uh, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Happy Easter. Subscribe.